Let's see a geometric way to find this infinite sum. Start with a positive real number x that's less than 1. Then draw a square with side length given by the infinite sum of the powers of x. In particular, the side length can be decomposed into a bunch of line segments of length 1, x, x squared, x cubed, x to the fourth, and so on. Applying the sum formula for an infinite convergent geometric series, we see that the side length of this square must be 1 over 1 minus x. Now we can use the labeled side lengths to decompose the square into a bunch of rectangles. First in the lower left corner we have a 1 by 1 square with area 1. Next to that we have two x by 1 rectangles, both containing area x, so together they enclose an area of 2x. On top of those two rectangles, we can shade in a 1 by x squared rectangle, an x by x rectangle, and an x squared by 1 rectangle. Together, these three rectangles enclose an area of 3x squared. On top of those rectangles, we can place four rectangles, each with area x cubed, enclosing an area of 4x cubed. On top of those rectangles, we have five rectangles, each enclosing an area of x to the fourth, for a total area of 5x to the fourth. And then we have these six rectangles, enclosing a total area of 6x to the fifth. We can continue this process indefinitely. Each time, we add n rectangles, each enclosing an area of x to the n minus 1. But now we can imagine that this process has been carried out infinitely often. That means that we're looking at a limiting process. In this infinite limiting process, the entire square will be shaded by these rectangles. That means that the infinite sum that we're thinking about must equal the area of the square. But the area of this square can be computed just by taking the product of the two side lengths, which are both 1 over 1 minus x. Therefore, the infinite sum, where n ranges from 1 to infinity, of n times x to the n minus 1, must equal the quantity 1 over 1 minus x squared. And this is in fact the formula for the sum of the differentiated geometric series.